What's up guys? Tom here with Extreme Air Vents. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Let me show you. Very last ride last year. Uh, let's look at this gap here. That is not supposed to be there. Um, hard to tell in the video, but this rail, starting right here, is bent up and in. And very last ride, it was causing some really bad ratcheting because it made the track loose because that tail, that tail was lifted up, twisted in, was able to ride it out, but got some cool products to put on. Okay guys, so I reached out to Ice Age and talked to them about what I needed. They told me to go with the Bomber rails. This is their, we're gonna pull them out here and show you, but we're gonna be replacing the stock skidoo rails with their Bomber rails and uh, also this additional stiffener kit. We're gonna do the install, get the skid pulled out, swap the rails. I literally, every skidoo I own, I flip and bend rails. I don't know what the deal is. This one even has the Ice Age rail stiffener, but you can kind of see it right here. Uh, that's where the twist is. Anyway, kind of annoying, but we're gonna solve this problem, hopefully once and for all. I already got the Ice Age billet rear wheels. Now we're going with the Ice Age bomber rails. So this hopefully cures my bent rail problem on the 21 Turbski. Let's get after it. All right, guys, if you have never played this get the skid out game, be prepared for patience, okay? I don't love how Skidoo designed this where it's got a through shaft and no way to clamp on. I'm gonna try to stop halfway through, show you a couple tricks. Uh, essentially, you loosen one side, tighten it back up a little bit, loosen the other side, tighten it back up a little bit, and try to get both bolts out on, on the front and the back, these four bolts. Once they're out, Skid comes out pretty easy, so. I will remove, I'll loosen up the track as far as it'll go, loosen those bolts, fight it back and forth. So I'm going to speed that portion up. Uh, I go into a little more detail if you want to go back and watch the video on the driver installation, the Avid driver installation, uh, a little more detail on getting that skid out, but it's almost 100% essential to have air tool or some kind of electric impact. I'm telling you, trying to do this with hand tools you will hate your life. So borrow, beg, steal, whatever. Get you an air tool or, an, or some kind of electric impact. Okay, so I built this contraption quite a few years ago. Pretty simple design, but it is so awesome for working on sleds. Basically just some legs, a tube that comes up with a boat crank, and I swapped out the metal winch for a, a strap. And now you can just crank the back of the sled up. Crazy. You can just lift that thing up, leave it, leave it lifted for the duration of your project. Um, it's not gonna fall. So if I made this all out of scrap, this thing's I've had for quite a few years. If you don't have something like this, you might have to rig something up from the ceiling, but this helps a lot. Okay, so we're gonna loosen up the track first. It's 15 millimeter. I already got a wrench on the other side. The, uh, the suspension bolts are 17 millimeter. This is my item of choice here for spinning this thing off fast. So I'm gonna speed it up, loosen up the track. Uh, these are 10 millimeter to the, to the belt tensioner, 10 millimeter. So we'll get everything loosened up, start dropping it. I just realized I wasn't videoing, but if you can get that side drop down and then get behind this bushing, this bushing, 
You get some vice grips on the through shaft. This is the through shaft. And I hate this thing, but it's down and out now. So that's the problem is, is it just inside there, it just, you loosen one side and it just spins inside. You can't get on here anywhere to clamp it. So if you drop the one side of the suspension and slide it over, you can get vice grips right on this edge right here. Come on, Skidoo. Now we fight the front ones. Okay, make sure you gather up all of these and the food chefs. These things like to roll everywhere through your shop. You can't put it back together with these without these. So gather them up, we're gonna pull it out. Came out a little easier than I was expecting. Okay, so I ordered the additional uh, rail brace kit for these. So these are pre-drilled. So you just line them up on the pre-drilled holes and put the bolts through. So these are going to go where the bump stop is. Okay, so the Ice Age rails come with new uh, Hyfax. They're just designed for all sizes. So I put one on the rail, marked it out, got them in the vise now. We'll cut it off. Okay, those are ready to be put on. I may bevel that. That's the rear, this is the very back. I may bevel that. Um, so when you're going in reverse, there's no chance of that catching. So I'll just take a razor blade and kind of put a 45 on it. Okay guys, it's time to start moving stuff over. So the easiest thing to do, honestly, is take a bunch of pictures. We're gonna take one there, there, so we can remember where you know, these little bushings go, which bolts go where. In an effort to not bore you to death, I'm gonna put some sweet music and just start unbolting everything. If I come to anything that seems a little goofy, we'll slow it down. But let's get this thing off on the new Ice Age drills. Let's do it. Okay, so on these rails, where this back mount goes, there's two sets of holes. So on the stock ones, they use the back hole. So we're gonna make sure we transfer over to the back hole. Okay. Since most, most of us in the uh, mechanic world hate to read, I thought I'd just show you this. I actually did read it. It says on the 19 and up models, use the provided M10 to M8 bushing on the front track shock lower bolt. Discard the factory washers and place the bushing with the shoulder on the outside of the rails. The shoulder of the bushing will replace the washer. So... That's gonna go like that on the outside shoulder, on the outside. We use the inside washer and that's gonna fill that hole 
where this lower shock, lower shock mount goes. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so that's how that little bushing works. Everything else is the same. You gotta get the washer on the inside, on both sides, and the bushing on the outside. Okay, last item. Gotta reuse these front bump stops and they're a rivet. So we'll drill those out with a 3 16 drill bit and uh, comes with new bolts. So there we go. Okay, before we install it, now's a good time to grease everything. You got it out, super easy. Adjust your limiter where you want it. I'm running mine loose, last hole. Also to adjust your spring. So I had them loose just to help release the pressure off of them. I'm gonna turn those back up probably three or four, so. Okay, so right in the front here, you've got the stock skidoo rail. This is the bent one. And you can see that this is where it bent. This is the definite bend point right here. This is where Ice Age puts that additional brace. But look how much beefier it is back to here. This entire section is webbed in more. So I'm really hoping that that uh, eliminates the possibility of, of this. That's not what you're looking for. So that's kind of a cool, cool view of how much stronger that is. All right, guys, it's time to get this bad boy under the sled. Let's do it. Sure goes in a lot easier than it comes out. All right guys, here's a little tip for adjusting the track tension. I have this little uh, micrometer gauge. Um, I think I picked this up at Napa a few years ago. I like to take a measurement from the back of the head of the bolt to that that mounting bracket right there. And then I can just go to the other side and get the exact distance on this bolt. That should get my track alignment pretty close. Um, you know, you always should run it a few times around, spin the track, check it. And basically what you're trying to do is get this distance the exact same on both sides uh, so that the track's running straight on the, on the high facts. So. Little tip, completed. They look pretty sweet in there. So, this ends the video of the Ice Age rail installation. I hope that helps somebody. Go to Ice Age's website, check them out if you're interested, and uh, keep watching for more videos. Got some cool ones coming up. Peace out.